Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, October 22nd of 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're more than welcome to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner. Click the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So uh, most of the tech stocks are doing quite well. However, Netflix is doing terribly. Third quarter uh, was not ex as good as expected, and we have fallen all the way down towards the 100 moving average. And as I said, 100 moving average in my previous videos has been significant uh, support for Netflix stock, and it will be really interested to see whether or not it holds. It is not expected to want to drop significantly further. We are down for to 491 level, and it looks like that this is the, as low as it will go. It may fall a little bit more, like similar to here, uh, but this is a really good entry point for Netflix stock uh, if it basically shows that it will stabilize here. Uh, from the top here to the low here is 14 uh, percent and uh, it is just a matter of time before we basically get back to these levels so uh, this is basically by Netflix at a discount at the moment but if we fall below the you know, 100 moving average will that opens the door to the 150 uh, moving average at 463 dollars so this is not where um, you should not enter this market yet you should wait until basically this stabilizes they see a, a positive green candlestick, and that is a sign that we'll basically go higher. Something similar to this. So if we look at technical indicators for Netflix, they are all looking terrible at this time. MACD is basically crossing the signal line, uh, indicating bullish bearish momentum. The same goes for the RSI, the same goes for CCI, stochastic. Uh, but the bullish demand, it could be an indication that we are going all to the, to the lows of this Bollinger Band to $473 before this technically turns around. Similar to something like this. To the upside, the, all, the very highs are at around $575. So you look at Microsoft, we have found support at the 50 moving average as expected. Um, if we fall further from here, if there is no stimulus or anything, then we could fall towards the 100 moving average at $207. Um, technical indicators for Microsoft stock at the moment are quite bearish. We there, if we look at the Bollinger Band, we're finding support at the, the moving average here, 20 moving average, but we could fall all the way towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band. That basically means that we'll go to 202. Um, that is possible. Uh, if we get a lot of uh, bad news about uh, about the stimulus and so on, that is uh, certainly possible. MACD is the turn is about to cross the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. Uh, RSI is uh, is uh, also looking bearish. The same goes with CCI, and also the stochastic is also looking really bearish at this point. If we bounce from here, then we'll find resistance at two hundred and twenty five, then at two hundred and thirty three dollars. If we look at Apple. Apple has also found uh, support at the 40 exponential moving average. The technical indicators are mixed for Apple. Uh, I don't expect Apple to break down from here. This is a really resilient stock. Even though we break down from here, the lowest we will go is to $306, which we ran into support previously only a few weeks ago. To the highs, we have this $225. And then to 138, 37 dollars. Um, well, it looks like we are about to turn around, um, as we have, was basically was expected. We, with this 40 exponential moving average, has proven to be significant resistant. However, we can go lower if there is uh, enough bad news from the uh, stimulus negotiations. So if we look at Amazon, we're down uh, half a percent today. We have broken through the 50 moving average, find this support at the 40 exponential moving average. If we break that, then it opens the door to these lows at 3,112, and then to the 100 moving average at 3,066. To the upside, we have 
$3,494. However, I do expect us to go lower if you look at the technical indicators. MACD looking very bearish, same goes to RSI, same goes to down, sort of CCI, the stochastic, and also the bull in Japan has, we basically pointed that we, if we go to the lows of the bull in Japan, that means that we go all the way down to 3,000. If you look at Tesla, Tesla is up 1.2%. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, we ran into support at the 50 moving average as we have done significant uh, several times in the past. And therefore, I do expect us to go and retest these highs of 465 and then to 503. No interest basically in shorting this. This is a, a very popular stock. People will basically jump at this every single time it, they see that it gets to the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. Um, not very, but a little bit bearish. So we may hang around there for a while. And when you see signs of the stochastic turning around and same goes with the CCI, then there is a sign that we are going to go to higher highs. Facebook is basically exploding today. We're up 5.14%. We jumped in the in the, in the beginning of the, of the session. We are broken these highs at the moment. It is basically only the very highest here, three hundred and four dollars that is in the way. We have turned around in all of the indicators, and at the moment they are looking all pointing to higher levels. There is basically no resistance above this, so we may go to the all-time highs with Facebook stock. A breakdown from here, we'll find support at the 50 and the 40 exponential moving average. Same goes for Google. Um, this probably is uh, uh, has something to do with the United uh, States uh, or the DOJ. Um, uh, bringing Google to court, um, and well, that should be bad news, but apparently uh, the market has seen this as good news. So we are basically up at three, almost 3% 3 today. Um, technical indicators for Google are very bullish at this point. Um, we won't find resistance until all the way up here, uh, 1,659, and then all the way to around $1,738. A break down from here, find 50 moving average and the 40 exponential moving average as support. But technical indicators are not showing that we are going to break down. They're showing that we are going higher with Google stock. You're welcome to support our channel. If you like these videos, if they're helpful, you can click on the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.